previously on All right, little course chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Don't break it. Cause I swear to God, I needed to see if I'm able to teleport. Cause I need to find my son. Because you know, I still care about the kid after We're all, in. so Chip, how'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. Hey. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry, they just have something of a reputation. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. I decided to install a mod that helped me get all of my science perks because of the fact that I didn't have enough due to the current level I was at, which I found that to be pretty stupid. And one of the reasons why I don't like Fallout 4 is because of the fact that you have to be a certain level to complete certain missions and that's pretty bogus so thank you for mods in general because without them i would not be able to complete this layout and i did manage to score this beauty too since at science 4 you're able to build a generator so let's talk to sturges and see what Everything else is needed you ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Hey, Whenever you're ready. you need something, yes? <clears throat> what is it? Your thoughts? You simply must survive. I need to Just conduct a full the battery of tests on you I'll when you return. Such a marvel! Hmm. <laughs> Just wanted You're to so check cute. in. See how you feel things are going between us. I find these traveling arrangements quite acceptable. Alright. As you wish. Alright, Curry. Alright, Stooges. I'm let's, ready uh, when you are. Let's go. See if this works. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Wait, okay. what? Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. Okay. Wow, I, I'm here. I'm actually at the Institute, which means, oh my God, I have goosebumps. Whew, okay, give me a moment. So it worked, like Virgil's schematics worked. Stooges heart building ability worked. And I'm at the Institute, which means I'll be able to find my son. What's this? Okay. Right, the hollow tape. Um I know Stooges gave me a hollow tape of some kind. Um, question is, where is it? 
No. I could have sworn he gave me some sort of a hollow tape. No. That is weird. Anyways. Choose hollow tape to load. Um Damn, I forgot which one. Um This is it. Yes. Okay. Woo! That was a good guess because I didn't even see the name of the hollow tape. Okay. Let me see here. There you go. All right. What's this? Oh, okay. So nothing really is just a nice little signal here. Wow, I can't believe after all this time, after all this time, I'm in here. This institute place doesn't really look fancy, though. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, father. Let's see what you're all about. This is it? This is the elevator? Okay. Elevator access denied? Why? This is rude. No use. Am I not able to use the elevator? Like... Oh. Okay. I guess it was manual on his end. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Oh, really? Prove me wrong, then. I'm pretty intrigued. Welcome to the Institute. Pretty intrigued, like... This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Wow. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Of course. You are here for your son. How do you know about that? How do you know is here? Yo, how does he know? Nah. I can't wait to be face to face with this this father ask him about why he kidnapped my son and if he gets a little bit too much of a goma miela <gasps> is that Sean? huh? yes I'm Sean 
Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? What do you mean? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? What do you mean? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What the hell? Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! What the hell is going on? I don't... I mean, obviously, of course he doesn't recognize me, but... I don't know. I'm conflicted already. Please, Sean. I'm your mother. T to talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! So, your father? Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. He's a simp. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. God. All we're missing are the teacups and the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful invite. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Try me. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. What? I am Sean. What? I am your son. What? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learn that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? Wow. That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It wasn't... It wasn't right. What they did, taking you from me like that. To Killing you, your father? That would certainly seemed true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. Wow, At they that brainwashed time, you. The year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking. Yes. The Your Institute science project, that's cool. synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. 
Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute have been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Yeah, I'm having the same look as well. I'm so pissed. They stole my son, use him as a laboratory experiment because they want pure breed synths to replace all of the diseased, I radiated hope you're not people too in the world. Like, fuck off. And you've. you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Dear father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For like many me. years, I never questioned who my parents were. Hmm. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. Or you could have killed him. The Institute him. took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position, obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, 
After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I mean, you go kidnap people, replace them as synthetic versions of themselves, and you believe that's the best you can do for humanity? You're not really adapting, you're just simply copying and pasting what really is a what you can control. Importance. The thing is, though, if I stay in the Institute, that means I'll be able to get the vital for Virgil, so he'll be able to go back to being human, and I can learn more about the Institute as well, just in case if I can weaponize their information if needed, if things do I hope go you're not sour. Too overwhelmed. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Sean, uh, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it to look like you? We've advanced the technology behind synths to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. A new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what, with the Institute's records on my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But, I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Hmm. Almost as if he so badly wants to make up for all the lost time together. The fact that he wasn't able to actually have a childhood and grow along with me and his dad. Damn. Sean? Let your surroundings be a reminder of what science and willpower can accomplish. Hmm. Right. Anyways, I'll go and meet the division leaders, I suppose, so, alright, let me explore, right? What's this? 
Oh, this is cute. Huh. This is really cute. Alright, let me go and explore. Meet the other scientist in this interesting... I would stop telling those stupid stories. Hi there. I've heard stories. And the surface sure sounds scary. Anyways, let me go to the other scientists, get to know them. And also, Almost I would done. need to... Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. We're all looking forward to working with you. Hey. Good to see you. Right. Um... We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. Hey, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son. And keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Wait, what are you talking about? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the Facilities Division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Mm. <laughs> uh-huh. I hope to see it. The hell is that noise? Hello. Hi. Is this <gasps> the Institute Cafe? Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That You're is here. correct. Glad that was you my favorite it. one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel Sometimes free to enjoy one hide of my our other nutritious notes and just to mess with food them? supplements. It drives me I crazy. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Hello. Please ensure that your dietary requirements are being filled. You're dead ass fighting against a robot because your little food comfort food isn't no longer available give me a fucking break all right at this point this is all nice and everything but i gotta find that vital thank you so much for watching this is lover of ladies and i'll see you next week